Secretary of the Council Member Craig is our host. Council Member Jackson. Council Member Quest. Council Member Dole. Here. Council Member Keenan. Here. Council Member Savannah. Council Member Goldman. Here. Council Member Matza. Here. Council President Gonzalez. Here. We can now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag led by Councilman Goldman. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of Pakistan's one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Okay. 
Are there any other comments? I just have a question. I don't know if it has uh, Mr. Satish Patel or Sai Lars been named on this list. Have we had any um, problems at that place, uh, Detective? No, sir, not aware. Okay. Any other comments? Other questions? Thanks, sir. There's no problems. Mr. President. Yes, Council. No other question on it. I'd like a motion to approve this application. I'll say. Okay, approve. Uh, motion by Council Golden. Second by Council Roll. Roll call. Next 
order of business, Renewal SSP American Gladco Incorporated, an inactive retail consumption license number 2004-32-176-011, city license number C-147, with mailing address at 19465 Deerfield Avenue, Lansdowne, Virginia. The license was originally cited at Newark Airport, Terminal A, Elizabeth. It was doing business as Garden State Delhi. Licensee has paid the 2012-2013 annual fees and tax claim certificate was received. Special ruling was received from Director of ABC pursuant to NJSA 33-1-12.39, relief for the 2012-2013 license term. Any comments? Can I have a motion? So I'm moved by Councilman King. Second? I second. Second by Councilman Dorman. Roll call. Councilman Dorman? Aye. Councilman King? Aye. Councilman Dorman? Aye. Councilman Massa? Aye. Councilman President Massa? Aye. Next order of business, renewal of club liquor licenses for the year beginning July 1st, 2012, expiring June 30th, 2013. Applications and fees for the renewal of club liquor licenses filed with the City Council for consideration and approval for renewal of the license year beginning July 1st, 2012 and expiring June 30th, 2013. List attachment for number 31 licenses. If you look at the very beginning of the list that was provided to you, that first group of licenses are the 31 licenses. Any conditions imposed for any of the licenses during the 2011-2012 license term should remain the same for the 2012-2013 license term. Any comments or questions? Yeah, Mr. Councilman Mazza. Yeah. Which ones have the specific of license? The first group of licenses, the first four. Okay, so those are the club license. Those are the, 30, the number 31 licenses, that's correct. Okay, isn't a club cubana also considered a license? Just a regular license. That means anybody can go in there. Yes. And the only club left is the uh, Portuguese, the Colombian, the Maldives, right? Only four remain. Four. There might be more, but they just have a Huh? Just a second. There might be more four clubs, but they just probably get the paperwork in in time. Is that correct? There, there is one additional one that has not been submitted. Oh. Which one is that? There's no judges there retired that could do the paperwork. Fees were not Okay, no problem. Okay, Councilman? No problem, thank you. Any other questions? Make a motion. Motion by Councilman Roko. Second? Second. Roll call. Councilman Roko. I'm going to have to abstain on the support of the Portuguese Club and the Portuguese Sports Association. I am July 1st, 2012, and expiring June 30th, 2013. 
Attaching the final list for the number 32 with broad package privilege, number 33, number 36, which are hotel motel licenses. Any conditions imposed for any of the licenses during the 2011-2012 license term should remain the same for the 2012-2013 license term. <coughs> Again, this one is a little more extensive. If you look, it ranges from the very first page until the last page. The 32s, 33s, and 36. So if you want to take a minute to look through it, it starts again on the first page after the 31 and goes through to the last page right before the 44s. Mr. Chairman, do we have a record of the condition that we impose at the following license? We should also be able to copy of that uh, just to Sir, refresh sure. the balance. I was asking if there are any records of the uh, conditions that have been imposed on the different licenses. Because now we have some other license that they have uh, uh, a certain condition or certain license was not approved to them and they are actually using it without the consent of this board. If you don't mind, I mean, let me have a copy, because I know I have an old copy of several years ago. Uh, if you give me a copy of what you have currently, and then I'll review if there's any question, I'll present at the next board meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would, it, would anybody, other council person, uh, like a copy of theirs? Any other questions? Comments? Can I have a motion? So moved. Moved by Councilman Goldman. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Gold. Roll call. Councilman Mr. Chairman, I'm gonna have to abstain on a few here. Sure, Councilman. Fombaleo. Aye. 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 Aye.
any old business, any new business. We have one communication. Mr. President, Councilman Keenan. Yeah, I'm not happy about this letter from the DRC. You see that. Could you talk into the microphone? Sure. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a letter from the uh, acting director of the ABC with regard to Butler's liquors. And uh, as I recall, we had suspended, we had agreed to suspend them for 19 days, correct? And uh, I guess that we were overruled by the uh, state ABC. Is that what happened? That's Oh, okay, so we knew this tonight at the. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, sure, Council. Okay, uh, the next regular scheduled meeting of Alcohol Beverage Control is Monday, July 23rd, 2012, at 7.30 p.m. in City Council Chambers, City Hall. Motion to adjourn. Move and second. Meeting adjourned.